Hey everyone, this video is going to talk to you about how to create your paper outline for tonight's homework, or more specifically, how to create a super duper awesome paper outline. And remember that this paper outline will be concerning how your location is significant both historically and in literature and why this should make people want to visit this location. So the first question that you need to think about is how long does it need to be? I've already told you that it needs to be two pages, but that's not all the information you need. Ultimately, you need to think about how many paragraphs does it need to be? We're used to writing five paragraph essays all the time. This essay might not necessarily be five paragraphs. It will be exactly as long as it needs to be for you to share all the information that you have. Now, I do know that you will have an introduction, you will have at least one body paragraph, probably more, and you will have a conclusion. And so this talks about a brand new kind of essay. Maybe you have written an essay like this before, but maybe you haven't. The basics remain the same, but the rules are different. So for instance, in your introduction, you're used to having a hook, background, and thesis all in one paragraph. For your essay, you might have more to say in your hook, so it might need to be an entire paragraph, and then you have a second paragraph with the background and thesis information. The ending result is that you also may have two body paragraphs, or four, or five, or eight, or ten, or a hundred and five, just depending on how much information you have to share. Now the one thing that will always remain the same is that you will have a clear, well-written thesis and that thesis will likely come at the end of your introductory paragraph. This will never change. The thesis is the heart of your essay, and it will always be there. It has to be. It's very important. So now, when you're making your outline, this is what I'm hoping to see. You're going to have your first paragraph, which is your introduction. And the first thing you'll think about is what your hook's going to be in your introduction. Remember, a hook is supposed to catch the reader's attention. Therefore, it could be narrative, descriptive, a current event, a historical event, or a quote followed with elaboration. As mentioned before, this hook could be part of an introduction paragraph, or if it's long enough, it might be its own paragraph, followed by more introductory information in a different paragraph. So, for my essay, if I was writing on the River Liffey, for my hook, I might write a description of the River Liffey and be a little creative about how I describe it. Then would come my background. And in my background, I would mention the date, location, Viking origin, and the importance of the river today. Note that I'm not actually writing these things out. I'm not writing my essay yet. This is just an outline. So I'm just putting what information I'm going to put in there so that when I start writing my essay, I remember what I wanted to do. Now, for my thesis, I'm actually going to write that out. I want you to have your thesis in mind from the very beginning of writing this essay. Therefore, for your thesis, make sure that it is a full sentence and it fully overviews what your essay is going to be about. And you can use this example thesis to help you write your own. So my thesis is going to say, Ireland's River Liffey is a critical location to visit due to its historical and current significance in transports and its literary significance as a symbol of struggle, hope, and life. So you can tell here that I'm going to write about its historical significance and also its literary significance in my essay. So this provides an overview of what my paragraphs will be about. I also give specifics, such as that I'm gonna talk about transportation, and then I'm also gonna talk about the symbolic meaning. Now, after I've outlined my introductory information, I move on to my next section, which is historical significance. Now, this is section and not paragraph, because I might need multiple paragraphs about the history to share all the information that I need. So within this section, I'll likely have two paragraphs, because I'm going to talk about the Viking origin of the River Liffey and its use for transportation. And then I might also write about its current use um, and maybe contrast the two and show how they're connected and how they're also different. Now notice that I'm not really putting a lot of information here. I don't have to do that yet. 
If you want to, it would probably be helpful to add some details, but by no means do you have to write anything out. You just need to put what your paragraphs will be about. Now, after your first section comes your second section, which might be about the literary significance. So I'm going to write a paragraph about Finnegan's Wake, which is about the River Liffey. And I made a couple of notes about the things that I'm going to want to say about it. I'm going to want to mention who the author is. I'm going to want to mention the literary devices of repetition, varied syntax, and diction. And then I'm going to want to explain that the purpose of the writing was to show the river as a mental state, a parent, and as a god. Now, you'll note that the majority of this information should come from your TP cast. So if you're having trouble figuring out what details you should put here, going to your TP cast, the connotation section and the theme section will be very helpful in figuring out this part. Once you have that completed, then you write out the conclusion portion of your paragraph. So for my conclusion, I want to remember to connect the history and literature to reasons why they should make people want to visit the River Liffey. And I need to probably use pathos and ethos and maybe even some logos to convince them to do that. Because I want my conclusion to be a really strong argument that convinces people to go to the River Liffey. All right, so that is all you need to do for your outline. It shouldn't take you an incredibly long time to do, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. If you need additional help, I will be in my room in the morning and you can drop by and see me about your essay. I should be in my room about 8.05. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.